friends, welcome back again to another episode of Tactical Enlightenment. Our YouTube channel is dedicated to all things Banner Lord related, but especially Advanced Battlefield Command and Tactics. And in this episode, we are going to have one hell of a fucking siege. Uh, siege Defense, courtesy of the Strengthen AI mod. You can see the mod is loaded successfully here. Uh, and what this mod does is make gigantic fucking enemy armies. And that's exactly what it did here. Look at the size of all these armies here that are swarming us, foaming at the mouth here outside of Amitatas. In fact, there's Sturgeon forces here. But before the Sturgeon forces arrived to siege our city, the Western Empire did three gigantic armies. Uh, so we'll show you a little bit our own army here. We've got companions of various strength like this gal here. She's kind of a middling strength in our army, right? 250 weapon skill. Uh, she's a wife of one of our characters. And here's some of the badasses, right? 329 one-handed. Uh, he's got 330 riding skill, throws javelins like an Olympic athlete. Uh, and then a very strong army as well. Although we only have some 550 troops. Uh, and we're going to do every single upgrade we can here, of course, recruit some prisoners. And then we're going to break in to help the defenders here against 11,000. That's not a typo. That's 11,300 Western Empire fucks. Seven pages of lords uh, of varying strengths. I was taking a look at these armies and some of them are relatively weak, like this army here with recruits and squires and levy crossbow and whatnot. Uh, and some of them here, look at this gal. Or guy. This guy has 29 elite Manavliotons, 34 elite cataphract, 34 cataphract, I mean, etc., etc. Uh, and we have a garrison of 55, <laughs> or excuse me, 51 and 55 militia. Now, this is our secret weapon here, I'm hoping. I don't know if we can win this battle. It's probably uh, uh, impossible, but we're going to try. This guy is one of my companions that is a war veteran with 301 medicine skill. Uh, on top of some other good combat skills. He will control this army uh, and my army as well is pretty stacked with good perks as you'll see with Zuvan. Uh, and we're gonna break in here, suffer the consequences. We lose like 80 troops, companion Litka Wilbark. Evidently we have a companion in there that'll be one extra hand here uh, in this ridiculous challenger. 600 against 11,000. So I guess this is, you know what this is? This is Helm's Deep, Bannerlord style. Uh, this is uh, insane, but insane makes for a great battle. Uh, now, Zuvan here, I've made a little change for this siege defense. Normally, I run lots of javelins. I'm going to change it up. We are going to go with a bow. Of course, he's wearing his elite armor, but we're also going to go with javelins, right? That way, I can use both shielded opponents. I will chuck javelins into them. And as you guys know, you can reload bows in siege defense. And then he also has a very fast, medium length uh, hammer that doesn't kill or do extreme damage, but it knocks the fuck out of the enemy. Uh, and then a nice banner here to reduce his melee, uh, the amount of damage he takes, right? Because this is going to be a grueling affair. Uh, we've had epic sieges before, but nothing quite to this scale. Uh, this is, I should have said earlier, strap yourself in, get yourself a tasty beverage. Oh shit, the city's all blown up too. Uh, this was under siege before we took it, and oh, it's more than blown up. There is a fucking hole in the wall. Uh, so just to make it even more epic here, uh, actually, it's double epic because look at the armies that are out there. We have the battle size mod running. Uh, fellas are a big fan of this mod. It means that up to 2,000 enemies can be present on the battlefield at the same time. And it sure looks like the enemy has 2,000 units out there. Now, we have more troops than normal. In fact, you know what? This is all our troops. Every militia guy, every guy in the garrison is in our armies here. Uh, so that means no reinforcements for us. What you see here is what we get for the whole fight. Uh, that said, it's still going to be what, like 530 troops or something like that. So that'll allow uh, me as the tactician here to try to put together this puzzle in a way that saves our skin uh, from this horde of Western Empire fucks. Uh, before the Strength and Aim I, I mod in my campaign, the largest siege I ever fought was 8,000. Uh, this is almost one and a half times that. Uh, so we're going to stick squares, of course, into these holes. I've got that hole and then undoubtedly the main gate. And then uh, we will definitely have an auxiliary infantry division. Probably the second will throw javelins. The third will be shock troops. The first and fourth are, sh uh, let's see, let's make it a hybrid division here with the sixth. The first and fourth will be hybrid speared shield. That way they have a high survivability. Uh, we need to assign them some captains. 
So then I can spread these guys out here. So this sixth division, we can actually square this in a pinch. There's enough shields in there uh, that I'm going to have to have some of these units be multi-purpose, right? If I, if the infantry division in one of these uh, gates or the, the big hole in the wall starts to break down, we will shift these guys or another unit into that division, right? This is going to be uh, an episode where tactics are essential if we're going to have any chance of winning. Uh, and one of the tactics, of course, we won't be doing is establishing any kind of defense on the walls, right? The walls are Swiss cheese. There's big holes all over the place. So we're going to defend uh, the courtyard. Now, fortunately, Amitatis has some of the largest courtyards of any keep in Bannerlord. And that's going to help us here. In fact, I was specifically hoping the enemy siege this castle uh, or city so much so that I just took it. Uh, with this battle size mod, mod on in one of our campaign save games and the enemy did not disappoint us now look at this swiss cheese over here they've got ladders over here ordinarily you'd put troops on the walls obviously we would be shot to death by thousands of archers uh, and those guys would not be able to defend so we will defend that courtyard as well uh, now what i have to play with are these four archer divisions i can spread them out into big big groups and the key here is to try to get lots of uh, archer uh, enfilade fire on the enemy, right? You want to be shooting the enemy in the side and the back. We will be distracting the enemy as much as we can with squares. We will be using false gap tactics. We will be using bait and switch. We're going to try a bunch of different tactics here. And what I hope is a long battle. And I say I hope uh, more than likely if you're watching this, this is going to be a siege that is well worth your time. Our Epic Siege series has been very popular, and this is the mother or the daddy of all sieges right here. Uh, I have not had any siege that looked anything like this, and really interesting circumstances to have both the battle size mod, so a massive amount of enemies, uh, and then also to have holes in the walls, right? Uh, so we'll get some captains assigned here and almost all of them decrease taken here's zuvan and look at his perks <laughs> right just just gigantic list of perks that's the guy you want leading your main division he'll be in our attack division our third division and then the rest of the companions i just want good stats and to make sure that they have banners that help those divisions so like archers decreased range accuracy penalty right she will help them uh decrease taken melee attack damage He's actually really good at, at throwing javelins. So, uh, but we'll keep we'll keep a nice strong third division. What's nice about that is that that attack division also has some high-end companions in it too, right? So when I'm attacking with the third division, you can expect those guys to do work. Those guys are going to be fucking people up, and boy, do we have a lot of work to do here, right? A thousand or eleven thousand Western Empire foes. And it'll be interesting too, if we win this siege, it's very likely we will be besieged by the Sturgeons. Uh, we've never had a three or four hour episode on the channel. This could be that, right? If we win this battle, we will we will take on those Sturgeons. I neglected a little bit our counter siege here because I didn't build it, right? We broke into this, this city and it does look like we have some explodable bombs here. Look at the walls. Uh, we're just under duress the whole time here. So I'm gonna get up here on this fire catapult and see if we can't score some kills. At a minimum, I'm going to be throwing these Greek fire fire pots onto the head of the enemy. Fortunately, uh, look at the location. Yeah, look at we're just getting shot up here, left and right. This is suboptimal. I'm going to like take cover. Uh, the enemy, of course, has tons of elite archers, tons of elite troops. Uh, but hopefully we can kill scores of them here as they come in with our counter siege. Guys are getting shot left and right. I'm getting shot. Uh, fortunately, we're a long ways away from the archers, though, so they're not really going to be able to score major damage on us here, uh, I think. Now, I can't really see because of the trees there, so I'm just going to kind of lob some rounds out here. A lot of people would say destroy the ram uh, in the spirit of having an extremely d a difficult siege, right? Obviously, this entire siege is essentially contrived. Uh, we could have, I could have probably waited for them to weaken the force a little bit more, although there were only 100 defenders left when we broke in, so the, the city wouldn't have lasted much longer anyways. Uh, but a lot of people would, what they would do is they would gather more units, uh, and hopefully once the enemy is a little more weakened, they would join the siege. Uh, we're going to go for it here. It's almost 20 to 1, right? 500 and something against 11,000. Uh, we're outnumbered 20 to 1 here. Uh, so fuck it, right? That's like almost the motto of the channel. Uh, there will be some some profanity here and there. We're going to have a gnarly uh, a brawl here today. I can't help it when I'm swinging a battle axe. Sometimes I just got to swear. Uh, so bear with me on that if you don't like it. And if you like it, you're in for a treat because we're going to fucking swear a lot here. These fucking Western Empire scum 
Uh, they have another thing coming if they think they're taking one of my favorite cities here without any resistance. Here they come. They're storming up like fucking homeless guys to a fucking food bank. And I know sometimes my comments might grate people wrong. I'm uh, actually a big supporter of people who are, are unfortunate. My wife and I uh, in, indulge in all sorts of charity uh, and we give to the homeless and help people out. Uh, but it's the perfect, it's the perfect uh, uh, saying for what we got going on here. It's just a swarm. We can use some other metaphors if you prefer. It's the swarm of fucks to, uh, you know, when there's a new Nike shoe out and a bunch of dipshits. I apologize if you're one of those dipshits, although why would you line up for a shoe? Never understood that shit. So we're going to throw some fireballs down here on these dipshit, dipshit uh, consumers trying to buy themselves the latest shoe. Uh, these motherfuckers used all the, the fireballs here. And that was a pretty good beating right there, right? I must have killed eight, 80 or 100 very high-end troops. Now let's see what we can do with our defenders here. How are they getting on the walls? How's that motherfucker up here already? So I just told the second court, which is javelin heavy, to fire. Those guys are opposite of me here, firing javelins. And look at these guys not even paying attention to the most deadly guy on the battlefield, right? I got 332 hand, and these fucking dipshits look the other way at guys holding their shields. You can see the javelins just absolutely whacking the enemy, <laughs> lighting them up over here. And this is key because we're killing their high-end troops. I don't know how many high-end troops the enemy's gonna have here. Uh, there, there could be a huge amount or maybe not that many, right? 11,000 troops. If it's all high-end, we are fucked. I'm hoping at some point uh, that we get through this vanguard and it gets a little easier because there's no way we can defeat 11,000 tier five troops. These are all tier five, tier six, including this guy running 100 miles an hour. This looks like there are some super lords in my campaign and he looks like he has 330 athleticism too. So we'll let our archers eat that guy uh, and then we'll, we'll take out the easy targets. Obviously running on normal or the hardest player damage here, even with elite armor uh, and a decreased melee uh, taking damage banner. I have to be very careful. Otherwise, I'm going to get dropped. All right, so we do have our bow and arrow, right? We're going to be able to do a little bit of shooting here on the margin of the troops. And I'll, it's nice. I can reload. Of course, I can't hit the broadside of a barn. Uh, my archery skills sometimes uh, deteriorate when I don't practice. Uh, but my hammer skills don't, right? We can just get in here and it's almost like an episode of the equalizer, right? You've got 16 seconds. And they're like, what? What? He's, he's punching his stopwatch. Yeah, you guys have 12 seconds. Uh, I suggest you leave. Otherwise, you guys are all going to get your royal fucking beat down. Even Batanian being champs just carved apart here uh, by this weapon skill. Now, this side is eerily quiet. So we're going to borrow troops from it. I've got the, that was the third core. Those are shock troops. This is my main division. I'm going to reinforce these other sides. And if the enemy starts to storm up the, what was it? It's siege ladders over there. We will react, right? I'm a firefighter by trade. Uh, and so that has given me a nice little skill set of basically triage, right? We are playing triage banner lord style. Triage is effectively a medical term where you're, uh, you're doing the best you can with limited resources and helping the people that are in the most need. Clearly in this situation, this counts. We have 500 and something defenders uh, and the enemy has an incredible amount of troops that are just going to be storming in like the zombie apocalypse. Uh, so another barrage here of, of javelins as I bring the third core over here. And we will do false gap tactics here where we stick squares opposite of each other. I see what's going on here. These motherfuckers are like mosh pitting up the side. Look at that shit. They're going like straight up this fucking side of this. I wonder if there's so many troops. It's like, it's like they're standing on each other's shoulders or something. Fuck. I mean, as if this wasn't hard enough. But look at the maelstrom these guys are coming into, right? There's a shield holding them off. All those are elite troops. We've got a nice army full of elite troops. And we charge here with the third. Although these guys are going to probably draw a lot of attention. We'll probably pull them back pretty quick. But what I want to do here is essentially let our archers work, right? In siege, your archers in a def in defense have unlimited ammo. So we're going to let our archers do a lot of the damage here. And our infantry is... Uh, a lot of it's going to be distraction. Right? We, we can't possibly hand-to-hand uh, -hand destroy 20 times our number. Uh, there's no tactics in the game that will allow you to do that. Uh, especially in this situation where... Oh, shit. 
sorry, but we finally got the, the proverbial allied kill, right? That means victory is assured, right? Right, Argyle? Look at these motherfuckers. They're climbing up there and then throwing javelins at us. You fucking assholes. I told you I was going to swear, especially when the AI cheats. I mean, that's like cheating. You can't... That guy doesn't die. Get off. Let's fucking just kick him to death. Uh, I need ammo. But somehow that guy took 116 damage and didn't die. So what that also tells you that is the enemy has high-end lords here as well. This is about as hard a siege as you can face. Uh, but so far, so good, right? We've got a nice little death chamber set up here on the right side. I can pick up javelins. I can reload my arrows here. i got to find an arrow barrel. Uh, but we've got archer, archer division scorching the enemy. This guy's fucking telling us to hell with us. On your back there, Banner Knight. Take your sword. Uh, I don't think I'll be using a sword and shield, but we'll see how this fight develops. Now, over there, the 7th Corps is just standing there because, oh, these fuckers are shooting at us. Is this archers? I think the enemy has archers right here. If they start getting a lot of archers shooting at our square here, we'll simply move our square over. All right, we're not going to let our guys just get shot while the archers outside shoot at us. Uh, so these troops, these are the guys that are mosh pitting over. I don't know how they're doing that. Uh, it's really weird. The enemy is literally climbing a wall that definitely you as a player cannot climb. Uh, I, I don't know. Fucking throwing javelins in here. I heard them kill a guy. Fuck you and your javelins. We charge with the third core. Got this windmill, super fast hammer. It is lethal with high athleticism. See you in hell, right? This guy is going to fucking butcher guys. He's going to knock them all over the place. It knocks down guys. The guys that don't get killed get knocked down. Uh, of course, it can be blocked easily, right? I'm definitely going to get blocked a lot. But with such high weapon speed, I just keep swinging. And a lot of these guys can't even hit me. Uh, only multiple enemies are really going to be a big threat uh, for Zuvon here. Part of me is hesitant to record this siege uh, and then and then publish it so early, but, uh, and, and I'll explain in a second, but this is just a siege you guys don't want to miss, right? This is going to be win or lose. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> All right, so we're making a secondary square here. I'm going to do this several times probably in the battle because I'm going to need to basically transfer units to where the need is greater, right? We're going to... We're going to be basically sharing units between our different divisions, all eight divisions, of course, because there are going to be situations where the enemy starts to wear us down and I need to basically shift troops around. Now, this was very... Oh, you motherfucker. This was very common on the big battlefields of Europe, of course. Generals like Napoleon and, and whatnot, other generals, would shift troops from one flank to another. Now, these guys... This is a problem because I want to be able to fire down rocks on the enemy. Although they're not really... It's all archers out there just shooting at our, our guys at the gate. Um, oh shit, we're getting shot up here on the wall too. Uh, I think we're going to... I think we're going to have to move our first division over, and I'm going to start borrowing from these two Archer Corps. I had these Archer Corps over here, of course, at the beginning because I wanted to make sure that if the enemy stormed up those ladders or just poured through the gate, we had enfilade fire. Uh, but now I need these troops, right? We, we all hands on deck here. I got to get some arrows, take cover. The enemy has hundreds of archers out there. I mean, I can sit here and shoot at them, but I think that's a waste of time. Uh, we want those guys to come in the Citadel. I'm going to get shot to death. Look at how many arrows are flying at me. Uh, we are gonna we are gonna stay down here with the men and make the enemy come to us you can actually hear the enemy coming I don't know if you guys can hear it on the recording but you can hear the boots of hundreds of troops coming I knew those archers were coming before I looked out the doorway like that was yeah you could literally it's a cool effect uh, but this is what we like right archers charging our infantry squares that's optimal battalion fian champs can eat shit too and once these guys sort of attract to the square they're going to start getting smoked i see the arrows going over my shoulder here as my troops shoot them all over the place right these guys have no chance and of course i can either charge with this first core or charge with the third core oh shit those guys are nasty the sergeant crossbow uh, we'll let our other troops handle them uh, there's lots of militia and whatnot to sacrifice on those guys these motherfuckers, these archers are shooting at our square. I gotta get these infantry out of line of sight here and let our archers work here. There we go. Shoot those guys full of holes. I gotta be careful not to take one of these point blank shots. This will do major damage.
We like this though, archers charging in. Archers charging our infantry. We like that. Charging our third corps, no less. So charging basically the best infantry on the battlefield right now. There's just going to be a flush of green as this archer corps gets eviscerated. And of course, they're not shooting. None of these guys can shoot. They try to pull their bow out and a fucking Batanian wildling bitch slaps him with his mace. Uh, and he gets skewered. Over here, it looks like it's holding. But I want to keep bouncing back and forth between these two different problems. Look at these guys roaring up with their spears and shit. Get the fuck out of here. Now, I got to be careful not to kill more of my companions. Uh, one is good luck and two is just a good way to lose, right? If I kill a lot of my companions here, we're pretty fucked. Get against that wall, bitch. 106. This guy fucking keeps on kicking. Fucking asshole. He blocks everything. I can jump up here, I think. Yeah, I can jump up here and command my units in pretty, pretty high degree of safety. Look at these fucks mosh pitting their way up. They are really starting to wear these squares down too. Even in a square, even high-end troops will get beat down eventually. Fortunately, I'm starting to see some mid-tier troops. Finally, the enemies through their main vanguard. Uh, we must have killed uh, two or three thousand troops already, and we're down to tier three and tier four. There's an occasional tier five mixed in there, but these are mostly mid-tier troops. Now, I don't have an arrow barrel here, but while I'm here, I'm just gonna pound these guys. Now we can charge with the third, and this is a false gap, right? The enemy's attacking these two different wings, and the third core, full of shock troops, roar up here, and the axes start swinging, and the enemy gets flushed. Now this is a huge enemy press. I'm gonna... Let's, I can borrow some other troops too, but this is one of those situations I have this hybrid division. Let's send these guys in too. It's messy, but there's a lot of green, right? We're definitely achieving a high rate of green. Here's the thing though. There has to be an, a massive amount of green. And of course, I'm referring to the upper right here. That's the death scroll. I'm, I'm, I'm having to acquire, what, a 20 to one, <laughs> a 20 to one spam for us to win this battle. So even when it's green for like 12 and then you see a red, that's a bad exchange for us, right? If we get a 10 to one kill ratio, we lose. So get up, Batanian Fiend Champ. Fucking club seems, look at these blocks, everything. Fucking David Carradine and shit, fuck you. Well, the enemy still has elite troops, but not very many. There's a lot more mid-tier troops mixed in. That's a good sign. Oh shit, we've got a mess over there. I'm going to have to get more units jammed in that fucking hole in the wall. This hole in the wall and this side is proving to be the biggest problem in this siege. There's just all kinds of shock troops fucking with their weapons bobbing up and down. This is a crazy scrum. I've got these archers back here, but a lot of these guys can't shoot. Let's pull more down and spread them out all the way over to those fucking sheds. And I'm going to get in here and wait. I just look down. I have half of my health left. We can get in here. Zuvan can get his hands dirty and deck some fucking troops to the ground. I got to be careful not to get cut off, though. You can get killed so fast in a siege like this. And, of course, they're all blocking now. I'm getting my ass kicked, actually. Fuck. Fuckers. These guys with maces are the ones that make me nervous. Not only do they do... Yeah, this fucking guy. They do more damage, but they swing really fast. <sighs> the enemy is fucking swarming in. I've got to try to jam this somehow. So the second is there. Let's try to put it a little closer. There's always some dipshit with the stupid looking helmet that chases the Jarl. Let's put the second right in front of it. That third core is on the side. They can charge the sixth and eighth. They're down here with me. I might need to pull the seventh. I would love to get units like on top of one of these barns, but unfortunately there isn't any, as far as I know, there's no way to do that. My units won't go up there. I'm the only one who will go up to like the, that roof of that one building. That said, 1,091 infantry, and that was just what's in front of us here. <laughs> that means there's, there's a 1,000 just right here outside the whole of this wall. That's more troops than most of the time than you can have on the whole battlefield. <laughs> and it's basically saying there's a 1,000 fucks, almost 1,100 right here. So let's carve their number down a little bit. Look at the arrows whizzing over my shoulder here. I can do some combat. Uh, these guys are all shooting from the stairs. These guys are bound up. So let's reform this. These guys, these crossbow here are just click, 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 just tick, 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 firing away. And of course, those guys are dual purpose because they can shoot both sides. Uh, but I've lost the fourth core entirely, right? We've had a whole division annihilated. 
It lasted quite a while, though. I Obviously, I don't have a clock, but I would imagine we're at least 15 or 20 minutes into this siege already. The front gate, there's just not a lot of pressure. I mean, the enemy has, like, kind of a constant flow of troops there, but it's not a flood, at least not yet. And, of course, there's archers on all three sides, right? So the enemy, as soon as they get to the edges of the square, they are scorched. These archers have no shields, so they're just pounded. I've got the third core here following me. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good right now, right? The siege looks pretty good. Let's stretch the fifth out here. I could start stealing more from these other archer wings. Here's the thing that's happening, too, that, that's kind of a hidden uh, nervous point. If you want to get nervous, there's obviously lots of reason for optimism. We've got some nasty death traps here. So the, the, the troops that are in the best positions, in other words, in the most important positions, a lot of those have extra hit points from that companion of mine with, uh, what, 302 medicine skill or something. Those troops are going to have like 160, 170 hit points. Well, what happens is, is those troops get beat on and they look impervious, right? Because they're just like these guys. These guys are holding out and the enemy's pounding on them and no one's dying. I and mean, they're in a square, they're holding up their shield, they're still taking blows. <laughs> Look at this hammer work. Just <laughs> makes a satisfying sound, just <laughs> and the enemy's exploding all over the place. Uh, but these troops are getting weakened right there. You can't see their health, but I assure you a lot of these troops, if they had a health bar visible, it would be like a third, a quarter, maybe a sliver. Uh, and obviously that's from being pounded on for the last 20 minutes. The enemy's still cheating here. Fucking cheater on your back, motherfucker. Oh, he got killed Sparta style. Dude, this is Sparta! How come I can't pick these up? Here we go. I need these arrows. There we go. Reloaded. It's kind of gotten chaotic. The enemy's char charging up the side walls here. Fuck you guys. This is our fucking city. We're gonna go in here ballistically, kicking my own companions. More enemy forces are pouring in. But this side is pretty well jammed up. But, like I said, I'm very concerned about the health of these two squares now, they are going to start to break down right these guys they look look at these guys i just see them surfing up the side they shoot you right in your fucking foot dude yeah, one of my allies took them out for me yeah you can see these guys surfing up the side i just can't stay here I, i'd love to sit here and just snipe look at them zerging over it looked like a mosh pit at a tool concert or something Tool's a band I don't think a lot of you young guys have ever heard of. I think Tool's fucking badass. It's it's kind of alternative rock. They are fucking incredible. Uh, that is my favorite band, and I like to say my second favorite band is Tool. My third favorite band is Tool Live, and my fourth favorite band would be like Tool on Drugs. Uh, it's just my favorite group by far, uh, and all other music to me is, is very secondary. There's a few other bands I like, and of course I like, I like some good soundtracks like you're listening to listening to now for these battles uh but i'm a big big tool fan uh it's it's very much a cult a cult group and what i mean by that is not that they're like trying to fuck 15 year old girls what i mean by that is that people uh generally that that like tool actually that doesn't exist people either fucking think they're unbelievably awesome just incredibly like god like god like musicians uh, or they don't know much about them or, or you know and then there's like seven people who don't like them maybe ask yourself if you're one of those seven <laughs> all right i digress from that but sometimes in these very long sieges i go off on little tangents you can only pound your hammer 57 times and give you guys the narration of that before it becomes a little stale and these guys are coming in these low-level archers and we're swinging our hammer at them and i killed a guy and i killed another guy so we will try to enliven this commentary uh with some other shit we will try to bitch slap some of these enemies with our hammer here and you know what i want to do i want to throw some rocks down on these guys too right we're going to employ every single device for killing the enemy in this i've got a division no, those guys are not allied. I just called a division to help me here. I need some help because I can't pick these rocks up and kill these guys. Uh, kill these guys. Motherfucker. Because the enemy's attacking me. Fuck you guys. Getting chased. Come on over here where the archers are thick. Shoot these guys, boys. Yeah, come on into that withering fire. I'm going to fucking make my stand right here. Pound myself right through you fucks. And now I think I've got a division following me here. Let's throw some of these rocks down here. Let's cause some concussions. Probably hit a few of our companions here, but as long as we 
Yeah, we, we injured a militiaman there. As long as we don't kill a bunch of our guys here, this will be a nice trade for us. Our troops are, are falling back. Fuck the enemy. They're moshing over that edge. We're starting to have another breach over here on the right. So I've got to continue to pay attention to it. We've got that square there, but they're just surrounding it. And now there's only 20 guys in it. Like I said, that square is starting to melt. We're going to have to start borrowing from archers here to, to shove that gate. I have a lot of troops. I mean, everywhere I look, there's fucking troops and Sergeant Crossbow and Vlandy and Sharpshooter. Uh, but uh, I assure you, I mean, look at the third core. The third core looks like their side job is painting. And they just painted an entire palace uh, mahogany fucking uh, uh, carotid artery red. I mean, they are just absolute Halloween fucking costumes uh, drenched in blood. <laughs> Hopefully mostly the enemy blood, but it's certainly been a lot of our own blood too. It's fucking beautiful chaos. You can barely tell what's going on. The enemy, the Western Empire has this kind of pinkish, pinkish red. It's, it's kind of a blood red. And so that's making the battlefield extra gory. Of course, we had the unlimited corpse setting on, right? So the corpses are starting to pile up, especially over here, three feet deep as we just bash a hand, a hole through these guys. Uh, my hammer, this hammer has become a weapon of choice uh, because of its speed. Uh, a lot of guys have, have noticed that I prefer fast weapons. The reason is, is that while I have worked on things like chamber blocking and parrying and, and whatnot, I'm not particularly good at it. Uh, but more important in big battles like this, there's no point in parrying. You got 87 enemies. If you parry some guy and then you kill him and you feel great about it, before you get your hit off after you parry him, six other guys have smashed you in the face. Uh, so for massive battles like this, I prefer speed of movement, 330 athleticism, and a really fast weapon. That way, if I'm like one-on-one -on -one against a guy, I can literally just keep mashing my, my weapon like a mouth-breathing stupid fuck, and I'll be successful, right? Sometimes when you're in a battle engaged as heavily as this, you just don't have a lot of time for skill. This is really getting messy. We may have to charge with archers. It's just a fucking chaotic mix of dead uh, enemy troops, charging enemy troops here, and our three different infantry divisions. Now, what I could do here is I could borrow some from the fifth and form and make a new second corps, but that's archers, right? That means archers are running up into a square. This is highly suboptimal. There's a nice big flush of green, though. Every time I glance over there, like, I'm like, we, we can win this shit. There's just tons of the enemy dying here to our archers. Uh, but then every once in a while, I'm reminded that I need to see almost all green, right? We're just so badly outnumbered. Not only is this the biggest force I've ever faced, but I've never been outnumbered like this uh, with very rare exception. And on top of that, it's the battle size mod. That means if we have three or 400 troops on the battlefield, the enemy has 1,700. <laughs> because the battle size mod allows up to uh, a 2,000 maximum. It doubles the normal maximum. And it's surprisingly stable, right? I'm running at 4K graphics and probably 50, 60 frames a second. Uh, and there's little tiny stutters here and there while the AI tries to figure out, you know, how to order and how to send this giant block of troops. Uh, but this is, what, what do you guys think of this? It's pretty smooth, right? I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to brag here about the system. I just, uh, like for feedback, is this, it's pretty smooth, right? Like to run this battle size mod. Uh, I fucking think it's amazing. I'll definitely be using it some in the Asurai campaign. Uh, although by the time you're watching this, the Asurai campaign might be over, right? We shall see. Uh, oh, and I wanted to mention that point. So the Epic Siege series, uh, a lot of these sieges, frankly, I've recorded and processed the videos. They're uploaded onto YouTube, and I'm doing one a week, right? And at this stage, I have about 12, maybe 13 that are just published and waiting, right? You can consider it almost like an, uh, a Netflix series where the episodes are all previously made, and they're simply waiting for release dates to, to push the new content out. I do that because I don't want to release 15 sieges in two, in two weeks, a siege every day where guys would get tired of it, right? Uh, so we've got different sieges coming up, different difficulties, uh, nothing like this. I apologize. This is the biggest siege I've ever seen or fought in. I know that's a little bit of a spoiler, uh, but if you're expecting more than 11,300 or whatever, you're going to be disappointed. This is just an insane siege. Even with the, with the Strength and AI mod, I have very rarely encountered this many troops all together. 
I'm gonna move this square over opposite of these archers. That way these guys can work. And I've got, look at this third core. They are absolutely fucking drenched in blood. They look so badass. Of course, they're mostly elite troops. Look at those guys mosh pitting over there. Fuck you guys. You exploiting. That guy just fell from the sky. Where'd he go? It's raining enemies. That's That was literally, that's what it feels like in this episode. A, a chance of thunder, partly cloudy, a chance of thunder and raining enemies. Almost killed another troop. Let's charge in here with the third core to try to relieve these squares again. And the enemy is never fucking ending. There's so many corpses here, I feel like I should be tripping in blood. That little sally ahead, I think it's actually better only to charge with my infantry divisions when there's a breach. As long as the enemy is highly distracted by our squares here, I think it's better just to let them pound on the square. Mosh pit over the edges, look at those fucks just mosh pitting. And then be shot to death by our archers. We'll keep the third back for emergencies. These guys have a good angle. The front gate is ominously quiet. There's the square there is really ba bashed in. I mean, there's like, there's 24 guys there. Uh, we can augment that some, but again, we're out of infantry. So we're now augmenting our squares with archers. That's, that is suboptimal. This sixth core, I accidentally charged and left them uh, left them on charge too long, so they ran out the gate. Hopefully not too many of them suffered there. Like a good commander who feels bad for being negligent here, we will help them. We will act like a one-man rear guard here. These are recruits. Man, that's a good sign. Unless the enemy has like 3,000 recruits, we might win this fucking battle. This would be amazing. Let's fucking pound these recruits, teach them a lesson. You guys really want to be recruited into this army, huh? That's what you want to do? Over here, I still see non-recruits dying. They still have Squires and Vigla champions. But, and I just sort of looked at it objectively, the enemy is down to, whoop, we're getting little stalls. The enemy is down to like tier three units, tier three, tier two units. And recruits are one, right? Or are they, are they two? I think they're tier one. But there's a lot of them too, right? Like, just, like you look at the power bar and obviously the enemy is not dead yet. Reload some more arrows here. Always some dipshit who needs to get a beat down. Fucking assholes. Oh shit! Thank goodness I have that perk. I just suffered 23 fall damage. I might have died if I didn't have that perk. My health is very concerning. Of course, if I get knocked out, there's a very good chance the siege goes sideways quickly. Uh, even with the RTS mod, you know, the character I take after the ki this main character drops, that two, three, four seconds, a lot of our troops will do bizarre things, like the archers will charge the doors, like there's, like they have a death wish, uh, units will get mixed up, so it's imperative that Zuvan here stays healthy as long as I can. God, they're getting Zerg down there. We may have to pull back here to this stairway. It's just, just not going to work. That square down there is down to four guys, so the enemy is just pouring around the edges of it. Let's put a square here. Let's pull the other archers back. Basically, we're going to shrink the area we're defending here. Look at this fucking Zerg. And they're not all recruits. I definitely see guys in there with shields. <laughs> I see squires. I see some medium tier troops left, too. But fortunately, there are a lot of recruits. It might be... We might be able to start setting up archers on the walls. Here's what I'm thinking. At some point or other, the enemy will run out of archers. Uh, and I'll, I'll have to venture up there to make sure it's safe. But I'll be able to put archers on the walls for the first time in this battle. Uh, and that would be a huge advantage to have archers raining down with great line of sight. It's a zerg. It's a recruit fucking zerg here. At this stage, I mean, we badly outpower the enemy, but we're also, our forces, every time I divide a unit, the numbers are no longer 50, right? It's like 12 and 25 and 22. We're probably down to 150 troops. And look at the fucking size of that Zerg. Let's try this shit. Let's try to get archers up here. Let's give them an angle. They'll be able to shoot the guys as they approach the keep. And obviously all of these guys in the valley this seventh core, we can steal some of these guys, stick it in the second, and then spread these guys out as well. 
Hold your ground there. Those guys will be able to rain down on all these recruits. I need a square right at the edge of this, this walkway. That way they can get shot from the sides. And obviously all of these archers, just like me, well, get a little bit of stalls here and there. That might be the corpses piling up so heavy. You can't miss here, right? This is like absolute fish in a barrel. The problem is, is there's thousands of fish in the barrel, right? This is just an unbelievable amount. I need a Gatling gun here, right? I need like one of those weapons from Quake or something, a rocket launcher. Just fire it right in the middle of there and have body parts go everywhere. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work killing one at a time here. Our square is doing a pretty good job holding out. I've got the third core charging just to provide them some auxiliary support. I see arrows flying all over the place. Not sure if the enemy's throwing shit at us. I'm almost out of ammo. Shit. I just killed a fucking Batanian Fiend Chip. I thought it was one of the enemies. It was deep amongst the enemy. The front gate is being jammed up nicely by these guys. Getting the occasional little stall, but it's not really bothering me. I don't know if that bothers you guys. Again, leave feedback if it does. Uh, but it's very short it's very brief it's not really it's not really ruining the immersive effect for me what is is this fucking absolute walmart crowd of fucking recruits and other tier three units they still have some high level archers in there uh, so we're gonna try to pick those guys off whenever we can this palatine guard right when your face motherfucker uh, fortunately their archers are all jammed up so tight god out i just killed another guy uh, their archers are jammed in so tight that obviously they can't shoot. Right? The AI is rarely smart enough to put its archers in an advantageous spot. The gate is holding. These archers are working above me here. But man, are we starting to get shorthanded. Whoa, the enemy just surged forward. The enemy's coming through the gate. That guy got fucking bitch slapped. Shit, I didn't want to use those guys. I, I chose the wrong unit there. Of course, at this stage, I really have forgotten where a lot of my units are. I've got two strong squares holding back a Zerg of, of recruits and tier two guys here. Very few of them have a shield. Occasionally, one of them have a shield. And there's 37 guys here at the edge of this wall. Let's try to get, uh, I can get about 20 of these guys spread out here. Look at outside. There's just a giant amount of troops out there. But recruit, recruit, recruit. This feels like uh, a zombie apocalypse. It's just recruits as far as you can see. I wonder if they have 1,500 or 2,000 recruits in their army. Every time I look at the, the, at the power bar, the enemy is just not dead yet. Just route. Come on, route. Be sweet. To, this would be an incredible victory. These archers are working both sides. There's a never-ending flow. It really does look like fucking diarrhea pouring out of a fucking uh, bathroom where the toilets overflowed. Just crimson or whatever color you want to call that. Mauve crimson fucking diarrhea pouring out the door. Jesus. And the corpses are just piled up there at the edge of the wall. There's a giant amount on the outside, too. It's like, that looks like a lot. And then when every time, look at, they have Batanian feet. They do have being champs. They're throwing shit at me. Motherfucker. I'm try to find a safer spot here. Like a single javelin to the throat would kill this guy now. Yeah, there's definitely being champs. Somehow the enemy still has high level troops. I don't know if that's part of, like, their vanguard or their last troops. I, I mean, those must be theirs. Oh, shit. All of a sudden, they just surged forward like they ate their spinach. We got to charge here. Charge with this eight. Hold fire. We got to fucking try to bottle that up. I don't know how they did that, but they just totally shoved our troops back, like, 20 feet. I'm getting shot. I don't even know who's shooting me. Our guys are barely holding the edge there. And of course, they're just absolutely flooding through the fucking side door here still. This is where I need some of those fireballs. I mean, how many would you kill? You'd kill like 80 with one shot. Someone's fucking hitting me with arrows. 
God, look at outside, too. There's just absolute enemies stacked up. The enemy must have, like, 1,700 troops on the field right now. These fan chaps, look at every single one of them has two javelins in their spleen, three arrows in their back. But they're still working, right? Just like me, I'm pricked full of arrows here, but we're not giving up yet. Fuck you, enemy, right? We dig in. What can we do here? I got to try to get creative. I've got eight divisions, but some of them are tiny. I got like four guys here. If we could start getting these guys spread out at angles where they can really pound the enemy, maybe we can get some savage enfilade fire. I mean, they should kill a guy almost every shot. Just like me, these guys have, you know, the Batanian Fiend champs have 200 and something bow skill. Look at there, Batanian Fiends in there. Fuck you. I just don't have the troops now to really come up with anything comprehensive. I've got these guys charging the gatehouse to give a little break to the square, but they're not they're not going to obtain a high enough kill rate like that, right? When you attack the gatehouse, you lose a lot of your advantage, right? These guys are face to face against recruits, and anybody knows when you're face to face against recruits, uh, it's not an automatic win, right? These guys will slash you. Some of them have maces. Uh, recruits are pretty weak in Bannerlord, but they're actually, they're, they're fairly, fairly dangerous. Look at that guy with his hammer. He just, he just bitch slapped the case in point right there, right? That recruit just bitch slapped that, that Batanian veteran Foxman. Now he didn't kill him, but I'm sure that did some good damage. Pounding him with his blacksmith hammer. This square is almost broken down. I might have to use these guys. We're really down to the absolute felt here. Just rout, you fucking recruits. Go back to your hovels where your animals shit right next to the bed and you sleep in every night and keep working forever. Oh shit, they're surging again. I don't know how they're doing that, but they just pour it up again. Let's bring more reinforcements over here. They're absolutely holding back the tide here. Look at this shit. Now I know exactly how those guys feel that work at like Best Buy when there's a Black Friday sale and the fucking dipshits pour in trying to save $30 on a TV that'll be obsolete in two years. That's exactly what this feels like. I don't think we can cover this, this breach here. Those archers are firing down from the walls. Uh, I can see them with my peripheral, but I'm just trying to kill everything that's attacking our troops here. Come on, boys. Hold out. It's close. I wonder if we can hold that center area there. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. Maybe if I kill 4,000 here with my machine gun, we can win. I can't believe how many there are. They're just never ending. But I've also never fought fucking, you know, Helm's Deep. So here the orcs are pouring in, right? We need, we need, uh, we need a charge here by Aramor and uh, the king. What was the fucking king? Theoden, right? Where's Theoden? His white horse. Get in here. We need you to charge. These guys would fucking break like fucking leaves. Uh, it's, uh, we're in tr dire trouble here. That square is breaking down. The enemy's boring in on us. We've got 16 troops we can set back and range. I don't know if we can get repositioned. I might have done this too late. Look at this guy hitting me with his little fucking blacksmith hammer. If I can get archers. Where's that archer division? I told them to get behind us here. I mean, I'm wrecking shop here, just decimating the left flank as they try to attack our square. But where the fuck? Oh, they're stuck. Let's pull the fifth over here to the left. Maybe those guys can get an angle to shoot. I do hear one archer behind me or a couple archers behind me shooting. But at this stage, I really do feel like I'm fighting the entire fucking land of Calradia here, right? This is 7,000 peasants. For anybody wondering why they all look unique, right? They all have like a little different look. Some guys are wearing cloth hoods and some guys have bad haircuts and terrible mustaches, birth control fucking haircuts. Uh, that's because we have a really cool mod also that's called Random Bodies. Shit, they're zerging our fucking archers. Uh, we're fucked. I thought those archers might be able to get a good angle there and spray them with arrows, but the enemy very adeptly in this situation zerged the shit out of these archers. And obviously I'm not going to be able to kill these 30 guys attacking them. I'm getting trucked. Zuvan gets trucked. And 
that's the battle. I'm not even going to try to take one of these last guys here. I don't need to get peasant beat down more than once. Damn. Oof. We let out an exhale. We let all that stress accumulate during this badass uh, siege defense here. And <laughs> look at him move forward. Just, just this huge truck. <laughs> this absolute looks like water. Just this big lavender, uh, not lavender, like this crimson pink flood of troops pouring in here. Of course, their corpses are everywhere as well as they zerg our last handful of guys. Peasant beatdowns for everybody. Die, dog. But look at all these guys look unique. Isn't that badass? That's the, the random bodies mod. And I will try to include the link uh, in the video description. All right. Well, I know a lot of you guys root for us in Siege. 80, no, 10,500 we killed. So we killed, so this is it. This is their last 800. Well, but the other really, really big siege we had was very close as well. I won't tell you the results of that, but sometimes you lose these sieges, right? People are surprised sometimes on the channel that we do share sieges even when we lose them. Uh, but I think this siege is definitely worth sharing with you fellas. That's about as bloody and as gnarly siege as you can possibly have, right? With our walls all pounded down, 11,000 fucking 300 angry troops storming us. Just heaps of body parts and dead corpses everywhere strewn all about the courtyard. And ultimately, uh, the enemy is victorious today. We certainly uh, we certainly left our mark here, though, and there's nothing to be ashamed of here considering what we were up against. <laughs> but look at us run, right? Yeah, you bitches. I'm going to raid some villages in my campaign to feel better about this shit. Kill some, <laughs> kill some villagers. <laughs> Spray them with some arrows. Uh, but man, that was fun. If you guys made it this far, of course, you're probably a pretty hearty fan of the channel. Of course, if you're not a fan of the channel and you want to see more epic sieges like this, please subscribe. Uh, we release epic sieges on a pretty regular basis. Usually it's a Saturday or a Sunday. Um, and this definitely qualifies. Uh, so I'm going to wrap this episode up, friends. Of course, I ask you to hit that like button unless you didn't like it, right? And then you don't have to hit the like button. Uh, of course, leave comments, questions, all that kind of good stuff. And I will talk to you, friends. Actually, I wonder, these Sturgeon forces would have zerged us too, right? If I hit play here, uh, the Sturgeons just come next too, right? Uh, yeah, so it would have been interesting. Another 9,000 troops would have poured in. Uh, really interesting, this strength and AI mod. Anyways, again, friends, I appreciate you fellas. Please comment and like and all that kind of good stuff. I appreciate you fellas. I think I've already said that four times. You guys get the gist. I will see you guys next time.